wondering which baby carriers are best for breastfeeding baby in as well as switching between wearers. So if you are going to wear baby but then also your significant other is going to wear baby too. Today I am sharing my experience with nine carriers. It's been a lot over the years. Over three years in fact of breastfeeding in baby carriers with not only a newborn but all the way up to the toddler stage. So I'm going to let you guys know how these have held up, what it's been like actually nursing in them while walking and doing stuff around the house as well as little tutorials for how easy these are to get on and off. If you guys are new here, my name is Rachel from The Confused Mom. Welcome to my channel. I share baby and toddler product reviews, activities, as well as Montessori at home tips. The other thing I want to say is there is a blog post that goes with this video so if you need to go back quick reference anything I will leave a link to that in the description box below as well as links to all of the products I mentioned in this video and some of those do have discount code. So check that description box for like any questions you may have or drop them in the comments below. And a quick note before we jump into my review of each of these, I just want to talk a little bit about safety. So despite how brands may market themselves, not all baby carriers are going to be safe for all babies' hips. So whenever you wear a baby, obviously your size is unique, your baby size is unique. So what may be true for one person may not be true for you guys. But I ultimately what we are looking for is frog legs. So a nice M shape or babies knees are in line or above their hips. You don't want their legs hanging straight down. That's to protect their hip joints in the future. And kind of on that same note too, especially when they're little, but really for as long as possible, you want them facing inward. So a lot of people like to jump to turn a baby to face outward to see the world, but that is generally not the best position for their hip. So unless the baby carrier has an adapter or you're able to shift their hips forward, a little bit, I would recommend even if they say it's safe to put baby in facing outward, I would still avoid that unless there's a specific switch in the way the carrier holds the baby. Just my two cents, if you guys are ever confused or stuck, there are pediatric OTs, Webster trained chiropractors out there that are far more knowledgeable than me and if you ever get stuck, I would always suggest bringing a carrier with your baby to one of those to make sure everything looks good and checks out. But generally, if you are in that M-shaped frog leg position, you're going to be good to go and avoid any issues with hip dysplasia or anything like that. So the first one I'm going to talk about is my personal absolute favorite one. The rest of the ones on this list are not necessarily in order by any means, but this is my personal favorite and that is the Aero Embrace Carrier. This carrier is for 5 to 25 pounds, so it should last for about the first year. But let me tell you, if you have any sort of neck, shoulder, or back pain, this is going to be your carrier. First of all, it's super easy to get on and off. All you do is strap the low waist buckle on, adjust it, bring baby to your chest, hold their bottom, then throw these shoulder straps over, cross them, and clip. Now, this is a really smart design because whereas most baby carriers are going to put the weight onto your trap muscles like a backpack. This actually has a little piece of material that actually cups your shoulder. And so it actually helps you to bring your shoulders back and down. It's evenly distributing stuff across your back. And then of course you have that little lumbar support with the low back strap. This carrier in my experience has been the easiest, most stable carrier to breastfeed in, especially while moving around. I just give it a little bit more slack as he's gotten bigger and I've been able to kind of move him in and then retighten it. Now, my biggest downside of this is definitely the fact that there's no sun coverage. Um, my baby is also a very distracted baby. He is a rubber necker. I typically have found it hardest to get him to take a nap in this because again, the whole world is right there for him to look around and see. With the Ergo Embrace Carrier, it is so simple to switch between wearers. It is a matter of just adjusting the straps and you can easily pass baby back and forth to anybody. Super easy learning curve. 10 10 recommend that. Again, it only lasts you for about the first year, but it is worth it and it is reasonably priced. I guess it leads me to the next most common boasted about baby carrier, which would be the Baby Bjorn Mini Carrier. And I personally did not like this carrier 
Warrior. I never felt comfortable with my son's hip placement in it. I always saw his hips going straight down. I always see people on Instagram wearing this carrier and their hips just don't look like they're in proper alignment. And then I see them wearing the baby outward and the hips look like they're even, even worse alignment. It does have this little tail hair that you can adjust. But even when I had it on the smallest setting, my son's hips really just did not get into that healthy M shape. I also found this carrier very difficult to switch between wearers, which was surprising because it is such an easy carrier to get on and off. But the thing is, in the back is this little black piece that you have to slide up and down so it meets between your shoulder blades when you're switching wearers. If I was alone and I forgot to adjust it when my husband wore it, now I'm wearing it, but it's already on and baby's crying, I was kind of like trying to like do a jimmy jump trying to get it down and it just wouldn't work. It also does not have a sun cover so you'd still need to wear a hat and I honestly just found the straps over the shoulders to be a lot harder on my body. There's no low back support. While it is super easy, I just did not like it for all of those reasons. The next type of baby carrier I want to talk about are baby wraps. So these definitely have a larger learning curve than the two I just mentioned. These are essentially long pieces of fabric that you have to twist and turn all around you. And these are also some of my favorites. I personally love the brand Solly Baby. All of their products, I have nightgowns from them, I have swaddles from from them, I have a little hat from them, are just so soft and the material is so lovely and the colors and prints, they're just amazing and they make a fabulous gift for anyone, whether you're gifting it to yourself or somebody else. Their baby wrap, you wanna tie it really tight at first because as baby is in it over the course of like five to 10 minutes, it's going to like give a little slack and adjust to baby, which is really nice. Baby wraps were my go-to with my furs. They're pretty much what I lived in for over a year with her. She was a petite baby and I put her in that and she would go to sleep right away. My son was like that for the first couple months and then we ended up dealing with some colic and reflux issues which made baby wearing a little bit more challenging until we got all of that sorted out. For a long time as soon as I put him in it he would fall right asleep. To this day if I put him in that he's infinitely more likely to fall asleep in that versus the ergo embrace. So it's definitely about knowing what it is you're trying to achieve with baby baby wearing sometimes if I'm trying to get chores done, keep baby awake, ergo embrace carrier, 10, 10 recommend. If I need baby to sleep, I'm going with a baby wrap because it gives you that privacy. As far as breastfeeding in a baby wrap, it's a little bit different than the semi-structured carrier of the ergo embrace. When you need to adjust baby down a little bit, you may need to hold baby in place or you may need to untie at the lumbar spine and readjust and that does take practice and that does take a little bit of dedication in figuring out how to loosen, readjust baby, and then retighten and tie it back up. And if you are worried about hip placement, in my personal experience, baby wraps are going to give you the absolute best hip placement when tied correctly for baby because it is actually using their weight to set themselves up versus any sort of structured or semi-structured carrier. Kind of on that same note, of younger baby carriers. I want to talk about the Coney, which I only had for a very brief period of time and I ended up returning it. But if you like the idea of a baby wrap, but you hate the idea of having to tie a baby wrap, the Coney may be worth testing out for you. So the Coney fits over the wearer like a t-shirt, specifically designed for a single sized person. So if you and your significant other are the exact same size, you would be able to share it. It is beautiful, simple, and it's well priced. And I have a few other options in that sort of t-shirt over the head baby wrap in the blog post guide of this. The next one I want to talk about is the Solly Baby Ring Sling. The hardest learning curve I have ever personally had. But with that said too, I have a hard time for some reason. Like baby wraps are super simple for me. Ring slings are very confusing for me. The Solly Baby Ring sling is a hybrid of the two. And I will say, as far as as your baby gets older, it is 
a phenomenal carrier, well worth the learning curve. So essentially what you have is the hug of a baby wrap with the added support of a ring sling in the back. Once you get this on, it is the easiest baby carrier to nurse in and to put an older baby or toddler to sleep in. You literally are like wearing them like a kangaroo pouch. The extra fabric gives you so much privacy when breastfeeding. It can be passed from different sized wearers. The material is much thicker. So if you have a Solly baby nightgown, hat, swaddle, or baby wrap, the material of their ring sling is completely different. It is much more of a sturdy, thick, durable, kind of like that linen-y feel that you would expect from a ring sling. It provides a ton of support. So as baby does get heavier, it will definitely be a good option. In fact, it's suitable for kids up to 45 pounds. So it goes all the way through the toddler years. As you guys can see here, my toddler is in it. She's underneath 35 pounds. She loves being born in this. And I have to say, like I said, hardest learning curve, but it has been the most worth it. This has been my saving grace as he moved out of baby wraps and getting him to actually do naps on the go. The next one I'm gonna talk about is the Wild Bird Ring Sling. I have one or two of them. My friend gave them to me from her furs. They were her absolute favorite. Her husband really loved wearing their newborns in the ring sling. I, like I said, just could never get into ring slings. I have neck and shoulder and back issues. I think you can even see here. I'm lopsided. Um, so ring slings were just not right for my body type. But I will say the Wild Bird one is phenomenal quality. The feel and texture texture of it is very similar to the feel and texture and weight of the Solly Baby ring sling, but because of my structural issues, the Solly Baby ring sling works significantly better for me. I want to shift gears a little bit and we're going to talk about the most structured of carriers, like the Ergo Baby 360, the Lilla Baby, Tula Baby has one that's also super similar, and these are going to be much thicker carriers, much more padded, not necessarily the best fits for petite frames. For reference, I'm 5'4". These are going to be able to easily switch between wearers, very similar to the Ergo Embrace. They use clip typically to adjust the fit between wearers. Unlike the Ergo Embrace though, which is a really soft material, allows you to cross in the back, these are all going to be that over-the-shoulder backpack type of strap. Now you can go ahead and cross them in the back, but you're still going to have it over the traps, not over the shoulder cap. I've personally worn our Ergo Baby 360 with the X cross in the back and while it does help a little bit because of the additional padding in the straps I didn't find it to be the most comfortable. Now the benefits of carriers like this they are going to typically give you every position. So I again have the Ergo 360 so I can only speak definitively to that but there's these little buttons hidden here so when baby is outward facing you adjust the position here so that baby's hips are adjusted and it almost creates like a little seat in the carrier pushing baby's hips out versus down and then the other nice thing about these carriers is you can wear baby on your back these are usually good i want to say up to 45 pounds as far as feeding in these generally very simple you're just gonna once again adjust baby down i don't find them to give as much privacy as the ergo embrace did but it is very easy to feed in them very similar concept to what i described earlier in the ergo embrace and i will say i don't have any first hand experience with the Lilla Baby, but my friend does have the Tula Baby Carrier. That one is a little bit more breathable and lightweight compared to the Ergo Baby 360s. So she easily nursed in it. Baby easily fell asleep in it. It definitely has a little bit more give in it versus the Ergo Baby 360. So if you find that that one's just a little bit too structured, but you do want that level of support for larger babies, the Tula Baby is probably going to be your best bet. And the other nice things about these ultra structured carriers is that they typically have a sun hood here too. Structured ones are not going to be as breathable, lightweight, or compact as some of 
those ones designed for newborns. But again, these are gonna last you all the way up to typically 45 pounds. I tend to recommend having at least one of these in your household. These have been super helpful for us. All of these, you just throw into the washing machine, wash, easy to care for, easy to clean. If you guys need more detail, more options, or more quick reference to kind of really hone in on which one is best for you, I will leave a link to that full blog post in the description box below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss future product reviews. Go back, check out my baby Bjorn bouncer review. Till next time, my name's Rachel. Have a good one.